Hi everybody, so today I'm going to go for a lovely little walk around Edinburgh city centre. Should be fun. Right after I have a cup of coffee though, or as they say in New York, coffee. Let's go. Okay, so I'm right here in Edinburgh's wonderful grass market. As you can see, it's normally a lot busier. Over there is Red Dog Music, which is, unfortunately, it's been closed for close to two years. Which is a shame because I used to love that place. I used to go in there and play all the keyboards, all the synthesizers, all the digital pianos, all the electronic drums. As you can see up there, that is the world's famous Edinburgh Castle. And that is Cold Town House. Cold Town House is awesome. It would be nice if Cold Town House opened at some point this year, it probably will. Not for a few months though. The White Heart Inn. Apparently, haunted. Such a shame that everything's closed, isn't it? Oh, here's something quite interesting. It's a water dispenser. Obviously, I don't have any bottles. Yeah, sorry, I just wasted some water there, that's bad. But that's cool, though. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so where should I go next? As you can see, this is Scotland's smallest pub. The wee pub. Here we have the famous Greyfriars Bobby statue and that's the Greyfriars Bobby pub and just behind it is Greyfriars Kirk. I'm sure you all know the story, Greyfriars Bobby was a little dog that um, went and sat next to his, um, his master's grave for about 14 or so years after he died. So I'm walking down in Rose George Fourth Bridge. This here is the world famous Frankenstein and beer keller. There's a lot of Harry Potter gifts in this gift shop here. Over there is the National Museum of Scotland. That building over there is the Bedlam Theatre. That's part of the University of Edinburgh for its um, student theatrical production. It's really windy. As if two weeks of snow, heavy snow, wasn't bad enough. Now, even though it's nice and sunny, it's just really stupidly windy. And up there is Bristol Square and that ridiculous building that's meant to be a Scandinavian village or something that got built at the end of 2020 and they've yet to use it for anything. So up here is, uh, this is George Square. This is basically the University of Edinburgh's main campus. Oh look. Kind of. Not really though. Here we have Edinburgh Central Mosque. That was completed in 1998. Interesting little fact for you guys. Oh, this wind is crazy. There you go guys, here is a, a little map here of all the, uh, all the buildings in the vicinity of George Square. This wind is absolutely atrocious. Oh, this is interesting, right? Over there, that's the pear tree. The pear tree is probably Edinburgh's most famous beer garden. It's literally like the only pub around here with a beer garden. Up here is Windmill Street. I don't know, maybe there was a windmill here at some point. As you can see, over there, that is our first seat. And this is the Meadows. The Meadows is a park just south of Edinburgh City Centre. As you can see, it's quite a very spacious place here. Very lovely. It tends to be very busy here when the weather's nice. In fact, just about a week ago, this whole place was um, completely uh, covered in snow. If you look up vlogging on Wikipedia, the first name that shows up under history is Nelson Sullivan. Nelson Sullivan was the first vlogger started doing it in 1983. There's also another guy called Weird Paul and he kind of sort of started doing it in about 1984 as well. Even then, yeah, that's like, what, close to 40 years ago nearly, almost. So yeah, total pioneers. So yeah, this is the meadows. As you can see, it's lovely here. So yeah, this is the place where 
on a lovely summer's day or a spring day, you come here, you um, you have a barbecue, you have a explosive barbecue, you have a few beers, some wine, it's great, wonderful. Okay, so I am just walking down to one of Edinburgh's most famous beauty slash picture spots. That is the Venel. Oh, the Venel is very lovely. The Miss Jean Brody Steps, and here it is. Look at that. There's the castle. This is truly amazing. This here is a total, this is one of Edinburgh's most picturesque uh, beauty spots right here. The wind seems to have calmed down, which is good because when it gets too windy, it's a bit annoying. I keep thinking my baseball cap's going to fly off into the wind and that would look really embarrassing, especially if I was video recording and it happened. It would be very embarrassing. And there you can see it there. Walden Wall, circa 1513 to 1870. Yeah, we're back at the grass market. So this is the location that in Edinburgh 2021 I talked about my little Snapchat rant. Now here is an interesting building. See this building here? Looks remarkably like a church. This is the hub. This is the headquarters of the Edinburgh International Festival. Now if you want to know a very interesting fact about this building, this was built as the General Assembly Hall of the Church of Scotland. And one of the architects of it was the same architect that helped to design the Palace of Westminster. And that was Augustus Pugin, who was a, a Gothic Revival architect. There's an interesting fact. Hopefully summer 2021 will be somewhat normal. I mean, come on, it's been over a year that we've been in pandemic mode. It'd be nice to return to some sort of... Uh, Normality, that'd be nice. Okay, here we have the uh, this is St. Giles Cathedral here. The interesting fact about this is it's technically not a cathedral because, in order for it to be a cathedral, it has to be a seat of a bishop. And because it's part of the Church of Scotland, well, the Church of Scotland doesn't have any bishops, so therefore, it's a cathedral in name only, it's not actually a cathedral. This is St. Giles Cathedral. And over here we have the part of Midlothian. So there's the Tron Kirk. Tron Kirk's not been used as a Kirk for a very long time. It's occasionally used as a, a sort of indoor market. Is a, I think it's quite a decent use for it, I like to think. If you go down that way, you end up at um, Scottish Parliament. Okay, so here I am outside the Scottish Parliament. So yeah, the Scottish Parliament, there's lovely pools outside the Scottish Parliament. I think you can go sort of paddling in them or swimming in them in the summer. I don't know, they're not very deep. I'd imagine they'd be very cold though. Yeah, they'd be extremely cold, let's be honest. Oh, the that's Hollywood Palace there, you can see it, kind of. Maybe I should get slightly closer to it. Not the best view, but there it is. There's Hollywood Palace. See it? Lovely. My hair is such a state right now. It is so bad. Ugh. Maybe I'm being a little bit too harsh myself, I think. You'll never see us ransack our parliament, unlike what happened with the US Capitol. But the US Capitol, Congress is technically not a parliament. It's, it's complicated. Very similar to a parliament, but it's technically not a parliament. Look at this. Sorry, we're closed. That's a shame. Here we go. Welcome to Hollywood Park. It's got a nice little map here. Our first seat, the Radical Road, Dunsapy Crag, Hunter's Bog, St. Anthony's Chapel. First established in the 1100s. Isn't that fascinating? Here we are. This has been another fun day. So, I'm walking down Edinburgh's famous party street, the Cowgate. Now the Cowgate is normally quite, well, no, during the day, if I'm honest right, 
during the day it's usually fairly quiet, but at night time this place comes alive. Well, in normal times at least, totally comes alive. That's the Three Sisters. That place is usually heaving in normal times, especially in the summertime or St. Paddy's Day. Up here you can see uh, somebody has put their shoes on. Can you see that? Ziggy Pete's amazing. I cannot wait for that to be open. Opium, also awesome. Subway? Eh, Subway's decent. Subway is decent. 